Welcome to a series where I play all the games in my Steam library that have been collecting dust after being bought during a sale. First up on the list is Two Worlds. Two Worlds is an open world RPG fantasy game developed by Reality Pump and published by Topware Interactive and South Peak Games. Releasing in August of 2007, Two Worlds is a fun game with so bad it's good dialogue and voice acting. Mm, tis the harvest season here now. It drags on later in the game with side quests being boring and random fetch quests or kill tasks. It's not really fair to criticize a game from 07 and 22, so I'll compare it to another RPG title that released the same time. Oblivion came out the year prior in 06, and the two games have had plenty of similarities. In fact, a few of the towns in Two Worlds seem heavily inspired by the Imperial City in Oblivion. Oblivion, however, seemed to keep my interest and focus for much longer than Two Worlds. The quality of quests doesn't really have any weight in Two Worlds, making the main character just seem like a nosy guy. A quest is mostly running across the map and killing the thing, and running all the way back with teleports being few and far between. Oblivion lets the player warp to any major town right from the get-go, however, I think that is overkill and actually takes away from the exploration that can be enjoyed. On the other end of the spectrum, Two Worlds makes it painful to travel even short distances with a slow run speed and teleports only to major cities. Horseback riding could have redeemed Two Worlds with the great improvement to travel speed, but horses can't go through teleportals and you can't summon them from any stables. You can't even buy a new horse when you lose yours because they're only randomly found in bandit camps, so they're too rare to be useful. I really enjoyed several mechanics in Two Worlds, such as the inventory and weight system, where you have an inventory size which increases with leveling up. But each item also has a weight, so even if you can fit it in the inventory, you might not be able to carry the weight. Another mechanic I enjoyed was being able to upgrade the class of all weapons, rings, and armors by dragging an identical match onto it, therefore giving it better stats. I liked the lack of any punishment for death with revive spots always seemingly nearby. I guess the punishment would just be running back to where you died since traveling is painfully slow. <sighs> Combat is incredibly simple with most of the fights being hit, backstep, hit, backstep, repeat. Although I do love the passive skills that come through once in a while for a critical hit. I found the active skills to be a bother and not worth the stat points. I note that I only used a strength pure build, so I didn't experience using magic or a bow which might have mixed up the combat a bit. I also found it annoying that you can't move a stack of items in your inventory and have to move them one at a time. There are a surprisingly diverse set of areas in two worlds, ranging from meadows to forests, nuclear bomb wastelands, bamboo forests with Japanese castles. The enemies have a good variety as well, at least visually, if only their attacks were as varied. The dungeons in Two Worlds have no puzzles or any sort of challenge other than killing everything and move to the next room. The music in Two Worlds was surprisingly good, I wouldn't mind just listening to the soundtrack by itself, it especially shows when visiting large cities. Overall, I actually did enjoy my time with Two Worlds, I just wish it had more engaging quests and a more complex combat and dungeons. I give Two Worlds 2.5 goos out of 5.